How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard to your Kinder Fire HD. Uh, a Bluetooth keyboard is basically a wireless keyboard. So um, just to clarify that. All right. So first of all, what you're going to do is let's zoom in on our Kindle here so you can get the instructions here. So on the Kindle itself, the first thing you're going to do is find your clock, which is right here, the time. And go ahead and uh, pull down the menu here and tap on wireless. Next, what you're going to do, you see you see airplane mode and then you see Bluetooth. Come all the way across to this little arrow. Tap on the arrow. And now you see enable Bluetooth. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. Okay. So now Bluetooth is on. Um, if you look at the bottom right here, it says searching, and basically what that is is it's looking for Bluetooth devices. So let's give it something to look for, okay? So uh, let me zoom out here because the darkness kind of can mess with it a little bit. All right, so uh, here's our keyboard. I'm trying to keep it nice and neat and pretty, y'all. So what we're going to do is turn on the keyboard. This is a Logitech. Um, keyboard normally works really good with tablets and it popped right up Logitech tablet keyboard tap on that and now it's saying to pair with Logitech well, let me zoom in so you can see this so it says to pair with Logitech tablet keyboard type in this number that's normally how you do it it's going to ask you to put a number we're going to tap it again and we get a little blurry here so on the keyboard itself um, Right now, I cannot communicate, and I'm going to tell you why. So, the way normal Bluetooth keyboards work, there's a power button, but there's also a sync button. And what the sync button will does is it's basically telling the keyboard, "Hey, go into pairing mode so that you can connect to a device via Bluetooth." Okay. So, I'm going to set this right here, and this keyboard, if you flip it over, there's a button. You see the button is on this side. That's why we can't see it. All right, so here's the button, and it says uh, connect right next to it. So when we press that button, we're actually putting the keyboard into a sync mode, and this little light begins to flash right here, and that tells us that it's ready to connect. So we're going to tap again Logitech keyboard, which is going to show up at the bottom right here under available devices. It's going to ask us to put in a number. Right now it's saying to put in a number that's 0683. So I'm going to type 0. 683 the number will be different depending on the keyboard and press enter and the way you know it works is uh, your Kindle should now say Logitech keyboard whatever connected so it says connected and now we're set now let me show you some of the things you can do with this okay first things first hit this button it'll take us back to our home screen see that so we're on the main screen uh, let's say I go to the web browser and I want to type something into Google. Let's give it a try, shall we? So right now it's let's get about right here. It's loading, so I'm just gonna tap in this section right here and I'm gonna start typing. Okay, and I didn't type. Now my keyboard's a little messed up, so that kind of defeats the purpose. Most of the keys work. Google.com, press enter. Now we're on Google. Now I can go to the uh, search. And, and all you do to type is, you obviously you're gonna tap the box where you're supposed to type. I don't know why we don't see Google there, but it's all good. Oh, there we go. So let's type in facebook.com, uh, okay? So one, this is an amazing keyboard. It's really one of my favorites and I've had it for a long time. A uh, long time, which is like, probably a year so a long time not only a long time but um it works really good it works good with email as well this is my website a little branding right there you know what i mean um let's do an email and i actually don't think i have an email account synced on here just kind of a womp womp uh tell you what i'll sync one right now so we can try it so you can see because that's where you would probably use it the most is if you were typing an email so i'm actually gonna type in my info here and uh, don't want to drag out this video, but I feel like this is where you would use this the most is actually in an email. So my keyboard, some of my keys are stuck, so they're actually typing the same stuff too many times. 
so um, you shouldn't have that problem as long as you buy a new one obviously again I've had mine for a little while so um, but just to show you uh, types well um, and again where you use a keyboard is if you downloaded a note-taking app if you downloaded uh, Polaris office or uh, quick office which is like the Microsoft office for tablets uh, that's where this would come in really handy uh, again sending emails if you're on Facebook a lot um, you know it's been nice to have a little keyboard and kind of free up your fingers because obviously it's not that easy to type on the screen so that's kind of where you would use that um, and before I end the video I want to do a quick disclaimer uh, I'm so mad guys actually was waiting to go out to the store to buy this specific keyboard this is a verbatim Bluetooth mobile keyboard and this did not work with the Kindle Fire HD I was so mad it connected and it did terrible and then I tried to connect it again and it said that it wouldn't work so this is what it looks like real dope and doesn't work so if you see this keyboard out in the street this will not work with your Kindle and Kindle confirmed it when I tried to connect it it said this wasn't compatible so don't get this one uh, I would recommend getting Logitech this keyboard was $69 but again it was the best worked great with my iPad and a bunch of other devices. It works on my phone, my iPhone, Galaxy S3, whatever. So definitely recommend get the Logitech tablet keyboard. It's Bluetooth and you'll be set. Alright, hope you found this helpful. Go ahead and like the video if you did. Subscribe to HU Tech videos and keep watching. Alright, have a good one.